I'm clapping like there's audio to sync and there's not. Does anyone else remember the days of YouTube? The olden days of YouTube, not the golden, the olden. When people would literally just sit in front of a camera and talk and it would literally just be talking to no one. I don't know, like, uh, I gotta think. What was I saying? Does anyone else remember the olden days of YouTube when people would sit and talk in front of a camera and we would watch them sit and talk in front of a camera and sometimes they would literally just be telling stories, made up stories. Sometimes they would be pretending to be someone else. It was like a real life video diary thing. I miss that. Don't get me wrong, I love the new style of vlogging where everyone switches up positions and switches up locations and there's cool swooshing sounds and editing effects and all that stuff is really cool and I really do enjoy it. I'm not shitting on anybody, but I feel very nostalgic in the sense of it used to be so easy. As far as setup, don't get me wrong, storytelling and holding an audience's attention and being entertaining is a skill and it should not be taken for granted. But the style of presentation, no one expected anything. No one expected anything from kids in their bedroom with a webcam on a MacBook to do anything. And somehow we found each other, pimped the system, and there are several people making livings, like making millions of dollars from something that they started in their bedroom when they were 12. I guess what I'm trying to say is none of us or I want to say us because I want to be a part of it so bad. None of them, the OGs anyway, started making videos to make money. None of the OGs started doing the things that they were doing to make money. They did it because they loved it. They did it because it was fun. They did it because it was challenging or interesting or they needed an outlet or they wanted to meet new people or any variation of any of the things I just said. And it got me thinking because now people do things on social media for what the kids are calling clout, but what I call attention. It's the same thing. I'm just feeling old right now. I'm not old. But even though the market is way more competitive now and people do a lot of different things for attention, like crazy weird things that they I can only imagine they dream about. The purist in me, the creative in me, the artist in me, the storyteller in me wants to break things down back to a basic sense. I like using technology and I'm learning all kinds of new things to make videos and make videos better and learn how to tell a story. But I think when you strip all of the extra things away, you're left with honing a skill called storytelling. And I think that that's really interesting. And it's something that I wanna work on. So I would like to start a series, I know, I start a lot of series that don't come to fruition, but I have to start them and try because that is my way. But I want to actively get better at telling a story. And I think the best way to do that would be to sit down and tell a story. And if I can, and I think, I don't know what I think. I just don't know. What I'm saying is I want to create for the sake of creating. I want to make stuff because it's fun. I want to make stuff because it's interesting. I want to make stuff just to say that I can do it, just to prove to myself that I can do it, not looking for acceptance or likes or followers or subscribers or whatever. I want to have, I want to make stuff and have a body of work that I'm interested in rewatching later because it means something, because it's important, because it marked a specific time in my life and I don't want to care about the numbers. I don't want to care about how many subscribers I have. I don't want to care about trying to make money from it because I have a job. I just want to make stuff and that should be enough. 